Okay, the last time I uh, was was here, uh, the live last live session, I I kind of focused a little bit on this right here and this area right here. Now you'll notice I need to get all this. Notice how much darker this all is to the white of the paper. So you know that I need to get in there and I need to start getting darker here. But I want to get the eyes in first, which is what I did right here. And there's more detail that I'm going to do on the eyes of course it's not completely where I want it but when I start to get the outer side here done and get it darker here it's going to flatten this out more and then I'll have to come back in there and I'll have to darken that up so the easy thing for me to do right now is just to start getting all this area in right now and I can do this rather quickly now most of this here was done with charcoal and various charcoal pencils I've used, for example, the General's um, Charcoal, the, what is it, the um, Extra Hard. The other one that I was using, for example, was this, um, well, now it doesn't have a name on it because I've, I've already used up so much of it, but I believe this was that Castle, Castle one, I don't know. I use, you know, as far as charcoal pencils, if it, if it, if it draws, I use it. I'm not like real brand loyal. However, I will say, guys, if you can get your hands on this Conte a Paris, this Pure Nor 3B, a subscriber posted about it on one of my review videos and uh, prompted me to, to try this pencil out. This is my favorite charcoal pencil because it has this this feeling of a, a waxy application but yet it acts just like a regular charcoal pencil but it's just so darn smooth and so dark I love it I bought a bunch of them I just I had to have them carbon pencils in this particular video here I don't believe I use carbon at all or in this drawing I should say not video drawing I don't think I use carbon at all but it's really good for things like you know the darkest pupil you know the darkest dark um, you know you can use a carbon this one doesn't have a point on it there's no point in putting a point the other dark pencils for example okay this one here I think okay this is the Primo okay this is a Primo 3B now that other Conte was a 3B as well okay this was a 3B as well so I may have a little redundancy here but uh, I love the Primo it has a little more scratch than the Conte I, everything has more scratch than the Conte does Another one I just used here. Oh, here's the castle. Here's a castle art supplies. Okay, this is a medium. Um, once once I've uh, used this down, I won't even know it's a medium anymore. So I'll pick up a pencil not knowing what it is. I'll try a little bit of it, and and that's how I go by most of the time. Is is I don't go okay hard, soft, medium. I I look at it and I see if it would work. If it's this pencil, it's easy because of the color. Okay, I know it's the extra hard. And this one here, the 9XXB, it's um, because of the color. So the colors tell me kind of what that is. But these other ones that are just solid black is a different story. But what I'm going to do here is for this part here is I'm not going to use charcoal now. See, this is graphite right here, this part. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to start off with a very light pencil. I got the 2H pencil here. And that's where I'm going to start with a base because it's going to fill in all the the paper holes any that's on there even though this is Bristol and it's the smooth side of Bristol you are still going to have some kind of fiberish you know uh, on the paper so the harder pencils fill that in really good so I'm going to come in here now and I'm just going to start getting this base down just to get it started and then I'll take my my uh, cotton bud which I just call Q-tips. Uh, that's a brand name, but you know, I don't know about every country, but here in the United States, you know, I grew up. It was always Q-tips. I know there's a lot of generics now, but I still like to use Q-tips. No particular reason why.
Now I can still see that you can still see that it's a lot darker here, okay? Then that graphite's going to pop. That graphite is not going to be dark enough at 2H, but it's just my base pencil. It's just my base. But before I move on, I need to do a little cleanup work. So what I see right off the bat is I, I need to clean this up because I don't see that over here. So I want to get that cleaned up. Get that cleaned up. I got this kind of shaped goofy, but it has a nice point, so I'm good with that. A little of the banding that I still see, I'm going to take off the edge of that banding there just to get it smoothed out some. So you can't really tell that there was banding there. Okay. Take, uh, I'm going to take inventory of what I got going here. Now I know I'm going to have to go darker with this, but I want to get some more of this area done as well so I can get back on the uh, eyebrows. So I'm going to come over here now to the white of the paper that I haven't done. No, I didn't need to go any lighter like with a 4H that that would have been it would have been meant that I would have had to do a whole lot more work later. Small notice I'm doing small ovals. It's just small overalls, but notice I can cover things really well with that. And I'm going along the hairline here. It's okay to bleed into the hairline if you want to, because you're going to go over it with dark charcoal here. And I'm going to just get this in here, get around the eyes. And then you know what I'm going to do next, right? What am I going to do next? After I lay down my graphite with this 2H pencil. What do you think I'm going to do next? Why don't you guys give your give your thoughts. Alright. See if you're learning. See if you're learning. What am I going to do next? Okay. Alright. Get that in there. Okay, I'm about to do the thing I'm going to do next. And if you answered blend, you're correct. I'm going to blend. Janet and Joe Pierce got that right. Get going. All right, blend. Draw. Lay down the graphite. Blend. Now, Janet, you did ask me about do I go darker pencils? Yes, but right now I'm still using the 2H. Okay. If you'll notice, my 2H is able to go darker here. Now, see, I got another defect situation here. Boy, oh boy, I'm not happy about this. This is this is really going to make me upset here because somehow there's this this line in here. Ah. I picked a bad paper this time. That's not good. All right. Anybody else got a thought on this? The the tone difference is the photo darker, the same, lighter. How does it translate to your monitor, your telephone, your mobile device? Can you see the tone difference? If you can't see the tone difference, then a lot of what I'm going to be doing isn't going to help you much. Blending, in my opinion, is a big part of photorealism. I don't normally tape my pictures on top of my drawing. I usually have it off to the side, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. Anyway, I want to get some more of this base in here. So I'm going to come now. I'm going to leave this alone because that's a highlighted area here. And I actually have to go higher up to here with this highlighted area. But um, let me see if I can, if this is even showing. Yeah, it is showing. Okay, good. I had to turn my head and look at my uh, monitors on the other side of the room. But what I want to do is I'm going to lay down this graphite here 
and over here and so forth. And then I'm going to come in and lighten areas and darken areas and then bring the tone overall up the scale, up this scale until we get it over to here. It's like skin texture. Okay, you see that? If you can look, just, gosh, I, I wish I could, I can't see across the room, but I'm not sure if it's translating to you guys, but there's like, it's like skin texture. You look at skin texture has these little, um, where your creases and your pores and everything else, you know, nobody has flat skin. We all have, we all have these little lines or you know markings or whatever and when you use your pencil and you do the circular like this it just automatically creates this really cool realistic in my humble opinion um, skin texture because nobody has just this perfectly smooth skin